That's really cool. It's a starfish. It's, it's a starfish. Star I love the beach. <laughs> I like fish. <laughs> <laughs> also, also like stars. The whole kind of idea with doing this flash for me was that I could represent my EP and my three songs through your work and kind of pull out the themes and the feelings of all three of them. So for me, this EP is um, it's very vulnerable and it's quite delicate and heartfelt and emotional. <laughs> like very ballad, ballad worthy, maybe. Um, <laughs> we're back on the ballad topic. Hearts, ribbon. Okay, I think I would rather have a star over a ribbon. I was gonna get the ribbon, but I, well, the ribbon would look really cute there. That's the thing. I have one, two, three, <laughs> uh, four. I have four tattoos. And for me, picking themes that represented those feelings. So, for instance, the heart, I feel like the heart is a good sentiment for all three of the songs. Um, because all the three songs relate to either heartbreak or heartache or love. So, that was something I, I wanted to implement. I loved the doorway because one of my songs is called Home With Me. And to me it was like entering the doorway and like coming back home to someone again. That yeah, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, you like, why, I saw, why the, I I saw doorway? the doorway and I was like, that's cool to draw. Yeah, yeah what is and this? And I was drawing and I'm like, why am I drawing a doorway? <laughs> yeah, and then everything else on there to me just feels, yeah it's that kind of delicate vibe. The stars, there's a line in one of the songs that's your heart's a golden star. So that's why I went, that's why I went for a star. I'm thinking the little bow on my foot would just look really like cute. On left foot, right foot. Yeah, because I've got like some ugly like old stick and poke from when I was like maybe year 12 on this one. I'll print it out and you can Fiddle. Okay. play with it. Great, thank you. I feel like a bow is very delicate. How big were you thinking? I think quite small. Maybe like that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I've got I think that's gonna look really cute. See so like a little like Oh yeah. Like that's quite cute, eh? Yeah. I think just do that one. This one? Yeah, because that's the one I tried before. <laughs> Feels good to make a decision. <laughs> Winning! It's cool because I have started like incorporating my culture into my work as well through my, I've pretty much rebranded my project in the past few years and really wanted to look at like my Māori roots and like weave that into like my logo design and look at like. Yeah, I saw that logo when I was doing the outline of it. I was like, this is, this is like drawing a mukul flow. Really? Yeah. That's cool. When I was doing this part in here, it was like exactly how I would draw a mukul on an iPad. I was yeah, like cool. doing it, these shapes. I was like, I haven't done this for a while. Yeah. Sick, I'm glad that you feel that way. I When we did the, when we designed the logo, we intentionally looked at traditional Māori art and like even just like weaving and things. I've got two logos. The other one has my name, Ricky Reed, and it weaves between each other. And um, yeah, I don't know, a really amazing artist, Tiaraki, did my logo. But it was something that I really wanted to like implement and like hide in nuggets through my yeah. project. Subtly? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really subtle. I, like, like I don't that. think anyone would look at it and be like, that's, you know, but it's wow, got a story. It's trippy. It's good. All right, you ready? Okay, ready. Are you sure? I'm ready. <laughs> it's more, if anything, I'm quite like a flinchy person. Yay, thank you so much. That is so cool! Yay! My, my Ricky Reed tattoo.